This is a historic week for America's veterans because the House is scheduled to pass the largest increase in veterans health care funding, $6 billion, in the 77-year history of the Veterans Administration. At long last, our veterans will have a budget that is worthy of their service to the country. So many of our men and women in uniform, whether we visit them in Germany, Afghanistan, Iraq, or wherever they serve, are very interested in what is going to happen to them when they come home. They know that on the battlefield, the military is committed to leaving no soldier behind. Democrats have committed to them that when the veterans come home, we will leave no veteran behind. We were able to convey to them what was going to be happening this week. They were pretty happy about it. For the last five years, we've heard a lot of words uttered about supporting our troops. Today, the new Democratic majority is ensuring that we finally live by them. The courageous men and women who put themselves in harm's way to keep us safe deserve to know that their country will step up for them when they return home. And by pushing for the largest budget increase in the 77-year history of the Veterans Administration, that is exactly what Democrats are doing. When we did the first continuing resolution and we put $3.5 billion directly into the health care line so that these veterans could be taken care of today, I got my lesson. And then I heard what was just the most remarkable statement. That was just a down payment. And you can imagine somebody who's come to Congress not knowing what to expect, not knowing if I'm going to be able to keep the promises that I've said to people. You can imagine the faith that it's restored just in me as I serve daily, that in fact people who say things mean them and even more than that keep their promises.